carbines and slings. If you work with a carbine or you shoot a carbine and a pistol, you need a sling. A sling's purpose is to hold the gun when your hands aren't on it. All right, keep the gun attached to you when your hands aren't on it. That's pretty much it. Um, you know, we can use slings to help us out in some shooting situations for some stability for longer range stuff and whatnot, but that's really the thing's job is to hold the gun when your hands aren't on it. Hold the gun close to you in a secure manner when your hands aren't on the gun, okay? Um, whether that's just, you know, down in front, something quick, or being able to put it on your back and store it nice and tight so you can run with it uh, or do some work, you know, some heavy duty breaching or drag some stuff around or whatever, that's the sling's job, okay? To hold the gun securely to you in a safe manner when your hands aren't on it, okay? Now, if you work with one of these things in a vehicle, okay, and the gun is not on you, and you need to get this out of a vehicle, that can be a problem. All that loose, loose sling hanging out there can be a problem, okay? So for years, um, you know, personally, you know, I did the rubber band thing where you kind of S-roll the sling up, you know, some different ways or whatever, and, and rubber band it to the side of the gun, or I started using some Velcro stuff, um, you know, that stayed attached here to make it a little bit easier to stow it up. But you need, if you work with one of these and you store it in a vehicle and you need to get out of the vehicle with it quickly and you need to make sure the gun comes with you and doesn't hang on stuff, um, you need a way to store the sling, okay? Sling management's a thing, okay? Um, so this is like the latest version of my sling that I developed and started back in 06, started thinking about the thing and, and tweaking around on it. Um, it's got built-in sling management, okay? So it's, it's light, you, know, you can check out the website, check out the specs, it's like 2.3 ounces. That includes all the hardware to attach it to a gun. It's two point, it's very adjustable for your, your um, operational use and um, stored use and then uh, the size to fit you, all pretty easily, easy to adjust, okay? Um, I'll take a short pause, move the camera around here. I'm gonna show you how to set it up into and use the integrated sling management system to put it in like vehicle storage mode. All right, so here's the sling in vehicle storage mode uh, using the integrated sling management system. You can see that it's pretty tight to the rifle, okay? Um, now I'll show you how you take it, get it out of that mode and into shooting mode, just grab part of the sling, pull it out, and it comes undone, all right? Uh, I'm gonna just kind of quickly set it up into that vehicle storage mode there. Uh, I have a detailed step-by-step -step video on the website if you wanna check that out, frankproctorshooting.com. But for right now, I'm just gonna do a quick uh, storage on there. Now this takes a little bit of time, but not a lot. It's like less than 30 seconds. I think that's faster than using rubber bands or s rolling and all that job. And there's no other stuff on your gun. This is all attached to the sling. There's no bulk. You can easily shoot the rifle like that. And that thing's pretty tight. Okay, uh, once again, to release it from that mode, just grab right around the buckle, pull it out. Now you can loosen it up and put it over your shoulder. Okay, now I'm gonna show you um, another step that you can do to make it even tighter. Okay, I like to store the rifle uh, in the configuration that I'm gonna shoot it. Uh, I shoot the rifles with uh, I like a longer rail to give me more leverage on the front of the gun. I like length of pull back here on the back give me leverage on the back of the gun. So I keep my rifle stored if it's going in a vehicle pretty close to that configuration, okay? So take your stock in one notch from where you usually shoot it. Now go through that same procedure. Like I said, I'm just gonna kind of roll through it pretty fast, but a detailed step-by-step uh, -step version of it's on the website. All right, so we got the stock collapsed in a notch, pull it up nice and snug like I did before. Hold a little friction there. Kind of important that you put this backwards. Now, so that's pretty tight, okay? But if we extend the stock out a little bit, back that notch, the 550 stretches a little bit, and that thing's even tighter to the gun. All right, no tricks there, all right? That's just the way it is. Uh, and it's still super easy to get the rifle back into shooting mode. All right, so there you go. Um, some thoughts on rifle slings and um, vehicle storage stuff. All right, later. All right, so I've got my PCC set up with the Proctor Sling and I got it in that vehicle storage mode, all right, using the integrated 
uh, sling management system. There's some more details at it on the website. Um, that's a pretty cool way if you gotta work, keep the thing stored up in a vehicle or in a tight space and you need to get the gun out without the sling hanging on something, that's a pretty cool way to do it. Um, can you shoot the gun that way? Can you operate all the controls? All right, let's, let's pivot this way. All right, so with, there's their shooting technique. All right, there's the gun mounted, looking through sights, manipulate selector lever, yes. Put selector lever back on save, yes. Um, bolt lever, bolt lock to the rear, load gun, reload gun, all right, or let bolt go forward. Uh, so you can do reloads, sling still out of the way, okay? Sling's not covering the ejection port, so the gun will still eject. Could we shoot it like this? I don't know, let's put some ears on and see. Had a little fun course of fire from earlier. You can shoot it. Uh, so I just shot that kind of uh, PCC mode where once the gun goes on fire, initially, you just treat it like a pistol. Anytime the eyes come out of the sights, finger goes to the frame of the gun, okay? Now, combat shooter mode, anytime we take eyes out of the sights, we put the gun back on safe. Let's we'll see if we can do that. Took 5.44 seconds to work through those 10 rounds on those five targets. Let's try it working the selector lever, combat shooter style. Took 5.73 seconds to do it combat shooter style. And absolutely, with the sling in that vehicle storage mode, using the integrated sling management system, able to manipulate all the controls on the rifle and shoot it okay too that's what i got man if you want some more details on the sling frankproctorshooting.com that was in wolf gray by the way i kind of like it kind of contrasts with the black kind of nice